Ah, uh, good afternoon, good afternoon, pronounced up, pronounced Dark Royzo. Welcome back to the channel. Here we are, back on Tacticus uh, Warhammer 40,000 Tacticus. Uh, just logged in. Um, I did some some stuff earlier on. You'll see that I have now actually uh, progressed a little bit further in the game. Managed to unlock some more characters, and that has in turn allowed me to unlock some. Um, what do you call it? Uh, some new missions. So we'll have a quick look at those. Uh, what are those? No, not sure why that was lit up. Can't see anything there. Uh, anyway, there we are. So battles wise, you'll see why have I got that? Oh, onslaught lit up. Uh, oh yeah, I've got to tap and collect my chest. But um, some loot. What I'm really short of, generally speaking, is uh, imperial orbs to level up my imperial guys. So I keep managing to, to level up different people, but uh, not the ones I particularly want to ascend. I still need to work out, well, I still need to go into, into upgrading some of these guys by getting them experience and actually getting them used and things like that, which is coming. So I've got some more rare heroes, that's good. Uh, you'll see that in my over the period of collecting things, I now have collected three orc heroes. So I do love a good orc hero. I uh, can do Guild Raid, Salvage Run, Onslaught, those kind of things. But today, let's have a quick look at the other uh, other options. So I now can do the uh, Octarius Raid, which me which required three Orcs. So here are my Orc boys. And I'm taking on the Black Legion, who, uh, because it's early stages of the game, are massively underpowered. They should obviously be uh, a, a good match to fight. You know, Orcs shouldn't be walking all over them, but they are. These Tempers got new tricks. They're sending in fire shooters. They figure that something's gonna gonna save them. We ought to, ought to thank them for warming that place up. So yeah, so we've got also oh, flame flower troops now as well. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, actually I will pop him there. So I've got my team. I've only got three orcs. You can deploy four, but I don't have four, so that's not really an option. Uh, I can deploy my little tank, my little tank, and the little tank goes pew 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 and. All of that. I'm going to actually just retreat the war chief at the moment uh, to bring him back closer. Oh, there's the flame hero guys. Right, uh, boom. The war chief can come to here actually, and then do his wag, wag. Oh, that didn't work very well. I thought it'd give him enough movement to uh, sort of engage a load of people, but didn't. Um, not massively effective attack that one. Out of range. Let's do that. Pew pew pew. And he can go and finish off this guy. So you can see that, um, yeah, my orcs are not as strong yet as my imperial troops, uh, my ultramarines, which would be fairly realistic because ultramarines are meant to be better than orcs. Hey, boys, break out them juicy squigs for roasting on sticks. There we are. So, um, boom, 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 collection of stuff. And I've got one of those, which I'm pretty sure it's one of my ultramarines needs, one of those funky um, things. It is. That's good news. There we are. So he can have plus 10 damage. That's good news. He's nearly ready to up level up. So he only needs one of these. And I have no idea where to find them. Octarius Part 2 crate. Collect the crate. Indomitus Mirror Part 1 crate. Ooh, Indomitus Mirror Part 1 crate, eh? I might get there. Uh, so there we go. So that is, uh, so these are my Orc companions. Let's do, do one more Orc battle. So I'm quite like it. Again, I quite like the game. And there's no auto mode, which is, is kind of, well, actually there is plenty of just tick raid, which is quite quick. Dare try and dash to split us up with them fiery shooters. Let them try. We are just a dangerous apart. Danger. We is danger. There we are. So, okay. So my Orcs are fairly, sp oh no, they're not particularly spread out at all they're all together um where is me boss right wag all right so he now goes off on his wag and does some killing so does that guy and that guy didn't do very much but there we are in theory he could have gone and killed somebody uh bum, 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 bum. give us scraps so the weakest character seems to be at the minute the robot i haven't got him sort of very leveled up yet the little tank summoning guy is good the boss yeah, reasonably effective because he does sort of two things. And the little tank seems to be pretty powerful. Though it does help that these are weak opponents. So, boom! Um, obviously, realistically, the Space Marine should be a lot tougher. But then this is an early level. So, and obviously, it's a game rather than the actual, like, attempted to fight enemies. 
Boys, them tempers might be split us up, but that don't matter. No chance that stops us. Yee. So there we are. So, oh, leveled one of them up. That's good news. And I've got one of those things, which you, this thing, I know I need one of these for one of the space marines, at least one of the space marines, possibly more than one. So those are handy to have. You know, five of them by the look of it. So I will probably, yeah, I will put them into Certus. So Certus now can be ranked up. Boom, boom. He's already quite an effective uh, character. So he's going to be quite danger dangerous. Now I'm powered up. Um, so to make these, I'm going to need some of these. So if I go into it, I can go, uh, go from Battle 42, raid, boom. Raid again. So there we are. That's Im immediately get them, go back out of there. And seven of these, three of these things. So I can go into Battle 50 and go raid. Boom, boom. One, two, three. Excellent. Pop them back there. Apply that. So now he's got one of those. And yeah, so I won't do this all now because it's, uh, but you can see that I can go and find things to level him up. This one is going to be the harder one to find. Oh, but you can get it on Battle 71 of the Indomitus campaign. Okay, so if I raid that one. Gonna come, gonna get any luck. There we are, excellent. And apply that one there. So he is coming together quite well, actually. You can do quite a bit of upgrading with him. Uh, who else can I upgrade? Oh, this, this orc fella, let's upgrade that one. Spinning blades of the can opener, upgrade that one. I can upgrade this because I've actually got it. So this guy's coming along quite nicely as well. He hasn't got the experience to have better armor at the moment, but that's okay. So he's coming along nicely. Uh, there is a mission that is completed. Good, hundred coins. So worth thought working your way through the missions and picking up bits. I'm just going to come back out of the this one. I've also unlocked enough uh, Necron to do the Indomitus Mirror campaign, which is um, uh, yeah. So it's it's the inverse one for the Space Marines. So it's now I am playing against the Ultramarines, and I am the uh, Necron. Do you have to select an enemy to that? I thought that was one you could use anyway. Right. Um, bum, bum, bum. Do, 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 do. Right, so you can shoot that guy down. Boom, boom. Oh, he's going to die. That's bad news. Uh, tap again to activate. I'm going to see what happens. What does that do? Triggers a relentless march for all adjacent non-character friendly units. Um, oh, right, okay, so that's that's not massively helpful, I can see because he is not dealing with automated units. Um, I don't, oh, he can heal this guy though, which is good news, because that guy was nearly dead. Fair bit of damage being done here. Uh, he can go there, boom. Uh, now if I, oh, I was gonna say, if I move that guy to somewhere else could he then but no there we are so there we are killed off the space marines victory for the forces of evil <laughs> uh, allows me to level up um levels up one of my one of my uh what do you call it uh, necron so and i obviously got something i needed there because it had a little green circle on it who can oh it's all going into the necrons for this one so he can have that there we are and now that he's been leveled up i can upgrade his special skills so these guys are now becoming sort of slowly stronger if you look at the strength though uh versus like my uh, ultramarine captain uh 391 health 162 damage uh my best necron sorry he's not my best necron my best necron is 109 health uh, which is well, a third as much even my orc boss who's got the red star which i think means he's a higher level uh 233 so he's still quite a way off being as strong as the marine uh if i apply this he can sort of fly up through the levels can pick up some more skills there we go and some more skills on this side make him a bit stronger go back into it 233 health so his health is creeping up he can have one of those bong do need just one of these find Octarius campaign battle eight, so go with one of those. So there we are. So yeah, doing the raids uh, is a quick way to get battle points, replaying them, bomb, um, and then you can rank them up. And ranking up is good, as you can see, all his stats just went up. So 
really it's sort of just keeping things going doing a lot of uh, farming and re-upgrading to keep your advancement your guys advancing um so boss gulgorts is now uh war boss in mega armor is coming along quite nicely and all the various other things that are going on uh, are looking pretty good i can sort of look ahead at the items which i might be able to accumulate which there's some good items uh, some items that might be useful for my heroes to level them up can't do this one yet because I don't have the Imperials uh, or the Chaos guys. So there's a lot of people I don't have for those ones. Uh, the Arena, I just got to keep doing little bits. The war, the raids are quite good. The Onslaught has got to the point where it's pretty tricky, where I'm fighting um, some pretty tough... Um, who do you know, what's it? Tyranids, I think they are. I think the Tyranids or Gene Stealers or whichever one they are. They're sort of sub-branches, the same thing, I think. So just enjoying me coffee. Right. Um, I am going to just put... Yeah, I'm just going to swap them round. It's only a small change, but it means my uh, um, my head honcho um, fella keeps everybody else a bit more healthy. The sniper guy will automatically shoot down somebody. Um, I'm inclined at this point to wait and let them come to me, which might be a risk, but there will be a load of... Um, thingy me bobs, yep, there they are, that start appearing, and they're very annoying, the little thingy me bobs. Uh, they do get right on my nerves. He can now deploy his friends. There should be th two of them, there might be three. A bit disappointing. There should be three of them. He can kill those. The little guys are the really annoying ones. Um, best way to deal with them generally is to use the flamethrower girl, uh, flamethrower lady, um, battle sister, whatever. I'm a bit don't mean to sound dismissive, just couldn't remember a name. And uh, boom, 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 lots of fighting going on there. Second wave will appear in a minute and make all my little jumpy guys very, very dead. The jumpy guys don't last terribly well. Um, normally, I, I thought it was the third turn. I thought I'd have three little jumpy guys appear, but only the one. They are quite effective in terms of their firepower, which is good. Much more effective than the actual guy, who appears to be a bit rubbish. So he's going to go and jump. He's, they are quite good, though, at dealing with the little uh, the little ones that annoy me. Um, the big boss of librarians. And the flamethrower is generally most effective if you move... Oh, I've moved too far. That wasn't very clever. Don't move too far. And, and then deploy. And the healer can just do one to finish off one of those quite, quite effectively. The uh, Yeah, so the marines are tough. My My guys are tough. It's really sort of making sure enough damage is being dealt at all times. I haven't used my, any of my specials yet, and I'm going to want my healer to do some healing in a minute, um, quite definitely. So, as I say, it's just killing those things, it just takes the time. Um, he's going to go here, she's going to flame through them. Destroyed at least one of them. Right. And my sniper can take out the big one. Sniper is best used on the big one because his special skill uh, and his attack generally only take out one of the little ones. So it's not that effective against the little ones. This is where you can see it's now getting quite hard because there's an awful lot of Tyranids or Gene Stealers or whatever they are on the screen. So we are going to do this. Uh, now my healer is going to heal everyone which is quite a nice skill boom um my sniper guy uh is going to take out this one killed two and one of them ran away which is good my chief can do his chain lightning thing and get rid oh, i thought he'd get rid of some of those but he didn't he just messed up there we go you can see now they're going for my sniper and where well, he's a bit exposed on his own moving around trying to take advantage of the the boost that you get from having your leader um sniper guys is, is not great at attacking um he's not great sorry against um little these little minion bunched up enemies that are quite annoying um this guy should in theory be able to lightning at least two of them that's it and i'm gonna go finish that one off over there so let's get him dead there we are so now they're grouping around. I'm going to want to get my healer involved again quite quickly, I think. Probably on himself. 
Yeah, here's the next wave already arriving. Luckily, they're largely getting in each other's way at the moment there. So he's gone to heal himself. Sniper can hop up here and shoot one of those guys. He can come here and shoot one of those guys. So he's doing his defense up thing, which is quite handy. Um, I'm going to jump this guy back over here because we're going to regroup for a second. Um, can he? No targets in range. Um, yeah, send my flamethrower over here. So lots of flames flying around. Boom. This is where now my healer is looking weak. You can see that the healer, uh, healer is dead. You see, this is the trouble. It's sheer weighted numbers begins to uh, begins to put paid to chances of uh, winning essentially. Um, every time I'm gunning down a few of them, but the overall weight of numbers is starting to tell. And obviously, I can no longer heal people. Um, I might get another. I might manage to, to. I don't think I'll be able to hold off all the next two waves altogether, but I might be able to make them suffer. Maybe make it to the last wave. Sheer weight of uh, killing gets to be quite, uh, quite impactful, basically. So my flamethrower girl, lady. Um, mm, where's she going to be most effectively deployed? And this fella, for that matter. Can I hop him back? She's going to come forward and she's going to do flaming here. And because she has used her special skills, she can do another flame, kill them. Sniper man can take out those guys. And the boss chief can come through here and uh, we'll finish him off. But there's less of the annoying little one. Oh, he says there's less of the annoying little ones. And then suddenly a massive group of the annoying little ones appears okay so uh lightning strike in there flame out range oh it's because of them because she's next to a um a group she has to fight that group hand to hand which is annoying and she can't go anywhere where she's not fighting a group hand to hand so she may as well do that and he may as well shoot this guy dead. So the sniper, as you can see, the sniper's pretty effective. He does tend to make people very, very dead. Um, but he's no good, not very good against the little guys because he kills off one little guy. And really, you want to kill off, obviously, lots of little guys. More enemies still coming. So the sniper can step back, shoot one of them, bang. This guy is probably the most effective against them in the game. Um... I am going to move my chief because I don't want to because your your units can get damaged by the fire as well. Bit of overkill there. There's at least now I'm in, I know what I'm facing, so all that's left is is what's here. Um, unfortunately, my flamethrower guy uh, lady is dead, which is a shame. She was holding things together quite well, but there we go. Um, flying jumpy man can jump and fly. It's going to be close actually. I might manage to scrape a victory here, which is quite exciting. Um, it's obviously not the first time I've tried this. Generally, with the librarian, I'm trying to move him away one so that he uses his lightning and not his um, what do you call it? Uh, his sword, because obviously the lightning chains and the sword doesn't. He is ooh, impressively he's still standing, which is good. And my sniper might win this. Boom! There we go. I've done it. I've been up against this onslaught for a while, so it's taken me a, a fair amount of time to do it. But there we are. Victory is mine. And I could choose a warrior who deserves the uh, the glory. Now, who shall I choose? I'm going to choose Certus for those and the rare Imperial Orb. The rare Imperial Orbs are very handy. Yeah, so that's a good one. Um, good result. So worth sort of, you know, study, learn how to use your heroes reasonably effectively and keep them moving around. Seem to work quite well there. Uh, what if I picked up the Death Guard guy? Can I have, we can have one of these. Now, this guy is... Again, his, his strength is getting quite high. Um, a lot of power in him. So he might eventually be somebody I'm going to want to uh, to use more of. Um, but ha haven't quite got there yet. And missions I can claim. And I've still got to do Guild Raid. This is to get my daily claim chest. Uh, common Xenos, a couple of common badges. So I get my daily claim chest. I need to go and do two more things. 
which were oh, where'd it go where'd it go missions daily claim play one guild raid battle and one salvage run battle so that's quite straightforward uh salvage run is at the bottom here we go uh and then a guild ra uh, a guild raid battle i think it was guild raid wasn't it or was it salvage runs always it seemed seem at the moment at least to be quite easy uh loads of little orcs and things turn up and then you kill them and once they're dead you get their stuff but they're very weak they're only little little go um what do you call it gro uh snotlings are they go they no it's not snotlings grots i can't think what they're called in 40k they've got goblins in fantasy battle but um so there we are quickly moving around here do 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 do, do. uh so don't want to deploy this guy just yet um his special skill is um quite uh it, you want to i want to deploy him ideally when there's uh, one sort of can or something that he can completely surround and summon loads of his little mates um loads more of his mates that he can summon the better free money piling in there we go and the sniper can go up on the top here comes another wave right that's it good so we've got a nice target in the middle so because he has uh he should be able to can you not jump on that one no oh, can't jump on it right okay so let's see he is going to come over here collect this gold she is going to go over here and collect this gold coin crate yes can collect it yeah. okay gonna go this way right and then he can do this and summon in a load of his mates four of his buddies pew, pew, pew. and they will actually help take care of everything else oh, oh you just collect that one fair enough there we are. bit collection da, 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 dum. the uh, armored chest in the middle seems to be the hardest one to ever get so i would use the flamethrower because that seemed to always destroy it and i think that's everything and this will be the next turn will be the last turn and i know on the last turn i have safely claimed everything because this it uh, it lets you move on um if you haven't captured or con you know if you haven't taken all the resources it uh it waits until you've run out of moves i think that's everything there we are hooray so there we are some loot collected salvage bit of gold bit of stuff bit of useful stuff or collected all up and that's really where we're aiming so uh the more stuff you get the better basically and then that all helps to work towards your goals and then lastly we've got one guild raid battle right okay uh guild raid battle go to please uh can oh got a fine reward chest to collect bomb 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 and that collection of stuff and we're going into fighting a boss. This is, a, by the look of it, a, a new boss. These are like uh, war machines for puzzle combat people. Um, yeah, here we go. So we're going straight in. Um, there is the boss and his minions. We want to do as much damage to him as possible, but also um, he'll summon up. He'll summon up his buddies. There is his buddies. So they've they're obviously pretty powerful. I don't know what's going on and why my guys are flashing. Assuming that's bad. Uh, I don't know if damage against these guys counts as damage against him. Nope. He is obviously very, very tough. So I've done 9,710 damage against him. Uh, and yeah, so I'm just trying to do a bit of damage to him. I won't get much done. And those things. Are, oh, they've lasered me. Oh, he's calling down like orbital fire. Oh dear, this is not going terribly well. So, so this one is how to learn learn the hard way. You need to move your troops. Um, there we go. Anyway, so they are nearly all, all my guys are nearly all dead now. Uh, my librarian can do a little bit more damage to him if he doesn't get killed himself, which may happen. Bomb, 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 bomb. So I'm going to target the chief because he's obviously the one out, out of range. How is he out of range? Can you not? Can you not move there? No. Oh, line of sight is obscured. Dear. Oh dear. The weak Necron are not doing too much damage to me, but everybody else is. Uh, two rounds left. Boom and uh, come back round. Actually, I think is it one round? Yeah, he goes at the end of this round. So 
Oh dear, not very good. Pew, 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 and we're all over. So that didn't go very well at all. So not one to copy that, but never mind. I've done it. No, no fear. Yes. Harris, um, that was poor. And there we go. Victory, defeat, whatever. I can now go and collect my chest, which is why we were doing this. So that will get me. These chests are normally pretty good. The daily reward chests. Bits and pieces. Some resources. Oh, amazing uh, and battle pass stuff I can get a mission chest completed here let's just see what i get traverse 300 hexes nothing very exciting there really but there we go anyway there we are so some useful things and as i say it's worth trying to complete the uh, the daily chest i would recommend and it just remains for me to uh, to say yeah please remember to like share comment and subscribe if you found anything useful in here there was hopefully something uh in the meantime it just remains for me to say au revoir goodbye and may death come swiftly to your enemies